Taylor Swift experienced a remarkable surge in her career in 2023, solidifying her status as one of the biggest names in the music industry. Not only was she named Time's Person of the Year, but her era's tour became the highest-grossing music tour of all time. This extraordinary success propelled her to a whole new level of stardom and accomplishment. Throughout the year, Swift captivated audiences in 24 different cities with her electrifying performances. She also achieved billionaire status and became Spotify's most streamed artist, accumulating over 26.1 billion streams. Additionally, she had an impressive 44 songs on Billboard's Hot 100 chart, showcasing her incredible talent and popularity. Furthermore, her era's tour film generated a staggering $250 million in global revenue. If these remarkable achievements aren't enough to convince you, Taylor Swift herself attests to the significance of this milestone in her career. In an interview with Time magazine, she expressed her gratitude and excitement, stating that it feels like a breakthrough moment happening at the age of 33. She emphasized her mental resilience in handling the challenges that come with such immense success. Swift further shared that this is the proudest and happiest she has ever felt. She feels creatively fulfilled and liberated, embracing this newfound level of artistic freedom. To delve deeper into Swift's incredible year, continue scrolling for more fascinating details. When Swift announced her plans to re-release her old albums, she likely didn't anticipate the overwhelming response they would receive. In 2023, she released Speak Now, Taylor's version, originally released in 2010, and 1989, Taylor's version, which initially debuted in 2014 and won Album of the Year at the Grammys. While the original 1989 album was already highly regarded, the re-recorded Taylor's version surpassed its predecessor in sales during its debut week. This unexpected success demonstrated the enduring appeal and loyalty of Swift's fanbase. In addition to the album releases, Swift surprised her fans by dropping the song You're Losing Me, a previously unreleased track from her 2022 album, Midnights. The song, rumored to depict her breakup with Joe Elwin, caught many fans off guard, as it was previously only available as a physical-only deluxe edition bonus track. Taylor Swift's decision to share this song showcased her willingness to connect with her audience on a deeper level and share personal experiences through her music. Swift commenced her era's tour in March and graced the stage almost every weekend until November, setting new records throughout her journey. The concerts lasted for an impressive three hours, showcasing a total of 44 songs from 10 of her albums. Swift also amazed the audience with 16 costume changes and distributed countless friendship bracelets, possibly reaching millions. Not only did the show leave a profound impact on her fans, but it also had a significant effect on the entire U.S. economy. Fan spending resulted in a staggering $5.7 billion boost. Throughout the year, the talented man singer received a remarkable 106 Global Award nominations and triumphed in more than half of them. Among her achievements was winning her 12th Grammy for Best Music Video, with six more nominations lined up for 2024. Additionally, she secured her fourth Golden Globe nomination, Although she has yet to claim the accolade in film, Swift will have another opportunity in 2024 with her film Taylor Swift, The Era's Tour. In addition to her success at award shows, Swift showcased her impeccable fashion sense on the red carpet. She stunned in a crystal-covered, hooded jumpsuit at the iHeartRadio Music Awards and flaunted in a bearing midnight blue two-piece at the Grammys. Despite her extensive travels around the world, Swift considers New York City her home and made the most of her time there whenever she had a break. She enjoyed the company of the Chiefs' WAGs and reunited with her longtime friends like Blake Lively and Gigi Hadid, exploring the city together. Furthermore, Swift formed new friendships along the way, frequently stepping out with Sophie Turner during the Game of Thrones star split from their mutual ex, Joe Jonas. Whether she was donning an exquisite sparkling mini dress, as seen on her 34th birthday, or opting for her go-to combination of a mini skirt and sweater, the singer truly embodied the concept of work hard, play hard, throughout the year. In early 2023, Swift ended her long-term relationship with boyfriend Joe Alwyn, although the news only became public in April. Following the breakup, she briefly embarked on a romance with the 1975's Maddie Healy, However, the relationship quickly fizzled out after approximately a month, leaving Swift single once again. 
Everything took a turn when NFL star Travis Kelsey attended one of Swift's era's tour concerts in July. After the show, Kelsey revealed on his New Heights podcast that he had attempted, albeit unsuccessfully, to give Swift his phone number. Despite the initial rejection, a mutual friend managed to convince Swift to give Kelsey a chance, and their relationship has been going strong ever since. Although they initially kept their romance under wraps, the couple has since become openly supportive of each other. Swift attends Kelsey's football games while he travels to watch her perform on stage. In fact, those close to the couple speculate that Swift may have finally found the one. Swift confirmed her relationship with Kelsey when she attended his game against the Chicago Bears in late September. Apart from the week she spent on tour, the Grammy-winning artist became a regular presence in the stands at Arrowhead Stadium, supporting Kelsey at eight of his regular season matches. Swift effortlessly combined game day attire with her signature style, always sporting her iconic red lip, an array of plaid mini skirts, and various chief sweatshirts throughout the weeks. She also found creative ways to pay tribute to her partner, wearing tea earrings, friendship bracelets with his name, and hats embroidered with his jersey number, 87. Swift's presence in Chief's kingdom not only solidified her position, but it also appeared to strengthen her bond with Brittany Mahomes, whom she consistently sat next to during almost every game. Throughout 2023, Swift spent a significant amount of time in the air, traveling between tour stops worldwide and visiting her attractive boyfriend in the Midwest. The renowned singer possesses two multi-million dollar aircraft, the Dassault Falcon 7X, her largest jet capable of accommodating up to 16 passengers, and the Dassault Falcon 900, which can carry up to 12 individuals. According to the aircraft tracking website JetSpy, Swift's Falcon 7X was flown 97 times this year, while her smaller plane was utilized for 68 flights. Despite facing criticism for her carbon emissions, a spokesperson for the anti-hero singer clarified last year that her jet is regularly loaned out to other individuals. It is completely inaccurate to attribute most or all of these trips to her, they stated at the time. Although the exact number of flights Swift personally embarked on remains unclear, it is evident that her planes were actively utilized.